While Asian carp have become a real nuisance on the river, they can be a real challenge to anglers. We recently joined Dan Vinovich on the Illinois River south of Peoria as he and a friend went snagging. There's one. Strong fish. Well, we're down here at the Peoria Lock and Dam on the Illinois River and we're snagging, actually snagging, silver carp. <laughs> right in the tail. That's a good fight, isn't it? Need some pliers, Mike? We're fishing with Mike Relliford today. Uh, Mike's a good friend of mine, and uh, he owns Relliford Taxidermy, Metamore, Illinois. And uh, we got to talking one day, and uh, you know when these uh, flying carp, you know, and all the videos and the uh, the redneck fishing tournament started going on down here around Bath, Illinois. And he said, "Yeah, I go down to Lock and Dam, snag them things in the summertime." And I said, "Well, that might be kind of fun." They're trying to market this fish. You know, it's supposed to be really good to eat. And they say that, uh, you know, it tastes a lot like cod, has the texture of cod. And they're actually marketing, the new market names I read today was Silver Fin or Kentucky Tuna. <laughs> Kentucky Tuna. You are skidding my butt, Mike. Maybe I need to switch to smaller rods. The Peoria Lock and Dam is the only lock and dam on the Illinois River that doesn't have a closed season. So you can come down here, we're actually down here in August. In August, you know, if you're a fisherman, August is a pretty slow month unless you're a cat fisherman. And uh, you know, there's not much going in the lakes. The, the lakes are weedy, they're mossy. You know, we're down on the Illinois River on an afternoon and we're just snagging some fish just for fun. This is a highly invasive fish and it is strictly illegal to transport these fish out of this area. So, I mean, if you pull your boat out of the water and you've got a live silver fathead or any of the Asian species in your boat, you're gonna get a ticket. They're a plankton feeder. So the problem you get with these kind of fish are is they're not actually eating the game fish. What they're doing is they're, fil they're a filtering fish. So they're filtering that plankton out of the water and that plankton is what these small fish larvae or the game larvae are feeding on. There's one. Jumped on cue. Next. Oh, I lost him. No, I didn't. There he is still. Boy, that one's got some weight for him. Boy, you ain't a kid. You hit him. It's like a freight train, ain't it, buddy? I got my musky gear, man. We don't got to worry about breaking rods. The fish that we're snagging here is actually the silver carp. It's an Asian carp, and it's the one, they can jump from eight to 10 feet in the air. And what's happening is, is the boaters on the jet skis and the water bikes and the fast boats, that fish comes up out of the water and they're running into that fish, you know, at 65 or 70 miles an hour, especially in some of these high range fishing boats. There goes one. They're nutty fish, aren't they? I mean, they just jump that vibration. I'm actually using one of my eight and a half foot musky rods. It's a real stiff rod. The reason why I want that long rod is that's enabling me to sweep that hook forward six to seven feet every jerk. And basically that's what snagging is. We've got a five out eagle claw hook here, but we've got a, a braid, no stretch, because you want once you hit them, you gotta get that hook in them. So you don't wanna be down here fishing with monofilament. You want to use this uh, braid, no stretch. This is 65 pound test. Hey, you know what? Mike was just giving me a bunch of uh, crap here because I was one down on him, but I got him in the mouth. See, now that's a true tournament fisherman. Man, oh man, they're a solid fish. 